Hello, lads and ladassesses. I know, I know. I've been gone, and you've missed your quality time with the Milton Patriarch. Truth be told, I needed to take some time off from these bloody wankers to recollect my thoughts. <coughs> oh, right. Hey, everyone, and I'm well from this set. Excuse me, I wasn't finished monologuing. Seriously, Americans, how bloody rude. Anyways, I'm your host, Nicky Dicky Doodah, and today we'll be reacting to Disventure Camp All Stars Episode 4. We have a semi special guest with us, Will. Hey, everyone, it's great being here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Save the foreplay for Ashley. Huh? Last time, Connor and Rhea's relationship sank, leaving their fans in shambles. The girls from Scion Team made a slumber party alliance. And Pink Team, well, they're still Pink Team. The victim of the night ended up being Lake. Ironic, considering what the challenge was. I'm glad people from our season are standing strong, but I liked Lake. Yeah, she was one of the good ones. Moment of silence for a fallen hero. Now that that's over with, we might as well dive into the episode, yeah? Aiden, I... I just wanted to apologize. I'm so sorry Lake is gone. Poor Aiden, man. He lost his two closest friends, James and Lake. I relate to the guy. This game is terrifying. I hate to play it alone. What do you think, Nick? Huh? Uh, it, yeah, whatever. Were you even listening? Pfft, was I listening? The real question is, were you even listening? To myself? Now you're just speaking in tongues. Whatever, dude. Let's just keep watching the episode. Hey, Fiore. Hunter and I want to apologize for how we treated you. We do? Yes. <laughs> These two are such a mess. I don't know. I think Ali's playing a good game. Ali? Making unnecessary enemies will only hold you bad. Amazing insight. You must be so good at this game. What's up with Ali and Hunter and their fake-ass apology? <laughs> Still think Abby's playing a good game? Better than the two non-stars sitting on this couch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to be rude. Not cool. You're real quiet. And you should keep it that way. Anyways, we can skip this scene. Wait, wait, wait! We're not skipping the scene! That's our girl! You might be into that kind of stuff, but I... That's not what I meant, Nick! Don't you want to see Ashley play the game? She was our ally, after all. Fine. How about you tell me what you were going to say the other day about how you felt guilty over something? Oh, that... I guess it's my turn to be sad, <laughs> but if it'll help you feel better. No, please, only if you feel comfortable doing that. Gag me. As soon as the farm was mine for the night, I invited everyone to party. Oh, God. I know a party. How frightening. Come on, man. Be respectful. The party went well, and... I was planning to clean up in the morning before my parents came back and found out. But we left a lot of garbage out in the field. The temperatures in Texas get mighty high. Next thing I knew, I woke up to the smell of garbage burden and... The fire consumed... everything. What I love the most about Ashley is her empathy. She's a resilient, tenacious girl. But once you see her at the farm, you realize that her real strength comes from how big her heart is. Ashley, if you ever watch this, I love you, babe. That is the most wholesome, romantic, and weak-minded gobbledygook I've ever heard. Dude, what's your problem? You, amongst other people. Like, seriously. It sounds like you're reading from a bloody script. What did I do? You don't think I know what's going on. Once we left Adventure Camp Season 1, everyone went their separate ways. You never reached out. What are you talking about? We went- Sure, we went for drinks. But you all outcasted me. 
Life was suddenly a performance for everyone. Tabloids and paparazzi loved you too, and you played it up, showing only the best parts of yourselves. So? I was never afforded that luxury. If I ever seemed happy or felt any sense of peace, some sod would come and ruin it. People treated me like I wasn't allowed to feel joy. They'd hold all my mistakes over my head, like those few minutes were worth a lifetime of shame and hatred. Dang, man. I don't need your pity. It's not like you or anyone else cared. Suddenly, I was a pariah. I'd hate to ruin your image. Oh, <laughs> whoa. That was clearly heavy, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's just roll to the next clip. Wait, do you want to- <clears throat> Next clip! So that man finally got fed up with you. Actually, I was the one who broke things off. You're not very smart. Have you ever tried Connor's perfume before? That's an odd change of subject. Is it any good? The original scent is classy. It's got a minty lavender fragrance. Oh, sounds fancy. Which leads us to our next sponsor, Express VP. <laughs> This has to be quick before someone wonders where I am! Fiore, you could be missing all day and your team wouldn't care. Savage. The truth is that not many people around here like us, and it'll only be a matter of time before they vote us out one by one. I see your point. If we form an alliance, we can protect each other. Once we reach the merch, we will be unstoppable. How does it feel to be shipped with that guy? Oh, could be worse. Could be shipped with Ashley. Ha ha, zing. But seriously, I would have never suspected that three of the most notorious villains would come from our purple team. Hmm. Looks like your girlfriend might be in for a wild ride. It ain't over until the rooster croaks, babe. Go! Come on, Tom. You can do it. Run like the wind, Allie. I would have died if Abby responded with, Thank you, I'm going there. Right, <laughs> that meme was everywhere. That poor girl is so socially awkward. I think she's really grown since season two. I hope people learn to cut her a break. You really do try to see the best in people, don't you? The world is full of so much pride as is. The thing we need most right now is grace. R right. There's something so satisfying about this scene. Listen, Ellie, I'm gonna let you win this one. Why? There's a matter on my team that I need to take care of. I've got the bag. I'm gonna get up and run, but be ready to take it. I'd assume he's talking about sabotaging his team so he can eliminate Miriam. Wouldn't that just get rid of a number on his team? Oh, exactly! I mean... I understand getting rid of someone because they know too much and are blackmailing you, but if you start eliminating everyone who's not your ally, soon you'll have no choice but to start eliminating your allies once your team is down in numbers. I could see it both ways. I know about your little villain's alliance. Villain's alliance? Yes. Alec, Gret, Yule, Rhea, Fiore, and Ellie. All right, who's the rat that told the old hag? Alec. What? I didn't say anything. She overheard. This is a great play for Miriam. I just find it funny that you called her an old hag. Trying to turn the villains on each other. If Miriam plays into their deceit, she might be able to flip one of them. I like your naive hope, but eh, it's not likely. Miriam. Alec. Miriam. Yule. What? Who the hell voted for me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Third person voted out from this venture camp, All Stars. Miriam. Ah, uh, figures. Total bummer, man. Both winners were taken out so early. Yeah, bloody shame. Anyways, that was episode 4 of Disventure Camp All-Stars. Very anticlimactic, but... Wait, man. Before you do your whole outro, I think we need to address something. 
You mean like your hideous shit? No, man. I mean like us. I'm flattered, truly. But you're not my type. That's a different topic you need to address your fans. But for me, I hate seeing you like this. Then close your eyes. It doesn't take a genius to know that you're miserable. What's going on? I'm sure being cancelled isn't easy, but... Stop! Just... Stop. You don't know anything. I know that Ashley apologized over text, and you marked it as seen. You've avoided Lil's messages, and based on the bags in your eyes, I'd assume you're not getting much sleep. That last one is just a consequence of being too successful. Why would you respond to Lil's messages, Nick? Look, off the record, which means my editor better not keep this in the video or else they're fired. But I just feel shame. It doesn't help that the entire world holds my biggest mistakes over my head every day, but I feel like I failed you guys. Especially Lil. Lil's a very forgiving woman. I know that, but do I deserve it? Wow, how vicious is the world to make you feel that way? Oh, the fandom? They're a bunch of degenerates. I think you're worthy of a second chance. Everyone is, man! Just reach out to her. She's more than willing to talk. I've gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of your girlfriend, but you're not so bad, mate. Thank you? Now, let's jump back into it. Massive shout out to Odd Nation Cartoons for producing Disventure Camp All-Stars. Give them a tipsy little subscription. Also, if you want to get a personalized greeting from yours truly... And me! Go ahead and browse their Patreon. <laughs> I've been known to sing a few tunes for some of my loyalist gremlins. If you want to see more cameos, come support this channel by sharing this video and commenting down below. Who do you want to see in a future video? Anywho, I'm your host, Nicky Dicky Doodah. And I'm Willy Dilly Duda. Signing off. Now sort off, you twain wankers. Did you just say Willy Dilly Duda?